So how are you feeling? I know you were fighting in Fallujah last night and the night before. You seemed tired. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hit a saw? Did the mission not go as planned? It did. I just didn't want to think about it. <laughs> are you traumatized? Yeah, I lost a couple of brothers, okay? <laughs> they step on some IEDs. What happened? Just sometimes you can't just you can't cover everybody, you know? There's a lot yeah. of action. There's a lot of things going on. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. So, speaking of military. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, we talked a while ago about banging in the military when Brian Simpson was on. Yeah. And this email came in, and it sounds pretty great. Okay. Hi, mommies. Just wanted to let you know where people have sex on Navy ships. As a former sailor, I can confirm I was never as hot as when I was in the Navy. <laughs> Maybe a five or a six in the real world. Once I stepped foot on the ship with all those horny seamen, I was a fucking ten. <laughs> Though I was not someone who fucked multiple people on the ship, a boat hoe, if you will, I did meet my now husband there. And we did it wherever we could. There are lots of small spaces to meet up that have locks. And since we both had access to locked spaces, we did it in a variety of said locked spaces. Behind radars, in ammo rooms, top secret storage... I don't know where the dummies that didn't have security clearances did that, but it was for sure being done. Thanks for making such a great podcast to get me through my workday. Piss on me, beat me. <laughs> Can I tell you what this makes me realize? What's that? Dude, fuck college. I should have gone straight into the Navy. Yeah. Been a boat hoe? Hell yeah, dog. Ugh. All these like hot, straight guys. Try it out. Yeah. They're all like in good shape. And she's right. If you're like a five or a six, bro, mm. on a boat. No, it's true. You're Marilyn Monroe walking around they're, there. They're losing their minds. Yeah. Yeah. But then you're just, I mean, you're just a rag doll too. You realize that's that. cool. That's cool. I could do it for, can I do a gap year in the Navy? Yeah. <laughs> like a gap, a gap like come year? A come year. Yeah, yeah. Like I get out of high school. Mm -hmm. 1994 is when I graduated. Yeah. And I'm like, I just go on a Navy boat for like a year. I, mean, I don't have to join. I don't have to join. Maybe I could do like some other kind of civilian job. And just stack your body count. You just want to fuck like thirty sailors. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Ugh. <laughs> Everybody knows too. That's the thing. Yeah. Everybody they knows. Talk. They're like, that's the whore right there. That's yeah. our. That's where we fucking all make our deposits. And they they treat you, you know, nice when you're yeah. walking on the ship, kind of walking. They're like, hey, what's up, Christy? Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Come hell. Yeah. Yeah, because every every base that I would tour on, yeah. they would be like, Oh, there she is. That's the that's the one that bangs everybody. Yeah, yeah. There is well, always you a would home. you would find out when they're like, Oh yeah, you know, you, like someone would say your nickname and you're like, Wait, what? Yeah. I have a nickname? And they're like, Yeah, yeah you're the jizz mop. Yeah. You know? And you'd be like, Jizz mop. Chris Jizza or yeah. whatever. Yeah, no, yeah. Thanks. And then you're like, How'd I get that nickname? And they'd be like, Yeah, you, you know. know how you got that nickname. You know. Yeah. The fucking commander well, gave it to you. Here's the good news too. Like, they're all like 18, 19. 18, yeah. 19. It's yeah. the height of their sexual oh, yeah. prowess. So imagine go. if I oh, I should have gone into the Navy for yeah. like just a, a ragdoll year, is yeah. what they call a it. A ragdoll year. Yeah. yeah. And they just fucking It's just pump and dump. Yeah. Yeah, it's 18, 19 year olds. They're um, they're ready to they're ready to go at all hours too. And fit, like that's the best part. Mm -hmm. Talking like good specimens. Yeah. Because I went to SF. I was when I was in SF for college. Like a lot of those dudes were like, you know, doing side stuff with other dudes. Yeah, really. Yeah, because like you know, a lot of bisexuals and gays. Up, it's, just, it's just like the gays mm. up there. It's a wild to wild to kink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So especially with like the AIDS scare, I was always like, God damn it, you know, I'm always afraid of messing with dudes if they're with other dudes. That that was a real threat back then. For sure. So I should have just gone into the Navy. You yeah. could have had the um you could have had the whole thing where you have a year of just really that's really sexually liberating, you know? I know. Would the Navy let me do a come year tour? Because don't, don't like once you're in the military, you're not. It's like they tell you how long you're there for. Don't you have to I don't like think four they give years? You a year. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. I, but what if I were to sign up as 
the the cum dog for the navy for one year and you're like they, i volunteer they honestly you're just going to surprise you they frown upon that what they, yeah they don't actually celebrate that that's weird i think you should have just been like a, a porn girl for a year no that's public oh you got to keep it private that's the difference between women and men <laughs> you would want to be a porn star for a year well sure because then everybody would know <laughs> And women want to be like, I've never done anything. Of like course. That. I'm a lady. It's like, no, you're not, you fucking whore. I know. And yeah. you, do you want to know what's interesting too, Tommy? What? Is that all the girls in college yeah. that were whores back then, mm -hmm. like even now they have kids and husbands. And I'm like, yeah, but you're still a whore. Yeah, of course. Because I knew you when you were a whore. When a whore, like if she's a whore in her heart, <laughs> that never leaves. Whore is in the heart. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, in no, your no, no, no. that's in your wiring. <laughs> yeah, you it's know? in your DNA to be a hoe. So like, can a hoe ever be a mom? Yes, they can be a mom. Yeah, but they're always a hoe. At but their they're core. always a hoe. Yeah. yeah, even on their deathbed, in their eighties, <laughs> they're still hoes. You know, look yeah. at this old dying hoe. Yeah, yeah. that's what the doc the doctor comes in. And he stuffs his <laughs> dick in her old mouth. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> and he gives her one last. Here's your final bit of medicine. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> <laughs> before you go to the other side that is so stupid it's true that's so stupid but it's true because like my friends that i mean you know one of them um yeah we went to her wedding and she was such a hoe and like dude bro like i see her shit on instagram and i'm like bitch i know you yeah. like don't fucking pretend with that you're getting married you fucking smile <laughs> no she's got like kids you know you said don't fucking smile yeah because you're like you know how many dicks smile. were in that mouth back in 1998 ho Jesus. i lived with you bitch yeah. you know yeah. what i'm saying like sure. i feel like they're just playing the part of a of like a nice, nice lady. lady now yeah I know. Because you know them in their youth, and that's like the core identity. Well, as the, as the kids say, those girls belong to the streets. You, know? <laughs> they you belong have... to the night. Isn't their song like that? You belong to the that's, city. That's, that's the first iteration of a girl that belongs to the streets right there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's funny because, you know, the uh, truth, here's the thing about hoes, right? Yeah. Is that they're a necessary part of the ecosystem. Of course. God bless no, the hoes. They're a necessary part. But the truth is, the sadness, the other side of this, mm. is that no one really wants to be with a hoe. Mm. Hoes are supposed to be the temporary. You're, 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 you're supposed to be discarded. Mm -hmm. You practice on the hoe. Yeah, and yeah. she because she's not she's giving it away. To, see, men want you to be a hoe with them only. If they're of with course. you, they want you to be a hoe with them. Yeah, but they don't. If you're like an actual hoe, they're like, "All right, but I'm not gonna love this hoe. Why? Because she does this with everybody." I know, and you can't trust her with your heart. Because you she's can't trust gonna, her with your heart. That's she's right. She's gonna stomp it to the ground. Yes, and I, but I feel that right. way about male hoes too. You should. I, I don't find it attractive when I would hear like, "Oh, I've had sex with hundreds of people." I'm like, I, I, I agree. feel fucking sick inside. Because what like, it does is, when somebody has those gross. numbers, what you realize. You know, this is going to upset some people, but yeah. they're damaged anyway, so yeah, who cares? Who cares? Um, <laughs> is that when you have those numbers, you realize that that person really doesn't respect themselves. If you don't respect your yeah. body, you just give it to anyone, you don't really respect yourself. So how, why am I supposed to respect you? I know. You know? And then some of them try to sell the, uh, I'm, I'm just I'm like, liberated. I'm sexually liberated. In my culture, that's my favorite. It's like culturally where I'm from, we have a different approach. No, you're not. No, we're all people not. and we're all wired actually the same way. Yeah. You know, you can be comfortable with like nudity, but the fact that you just give yourself to people is because you're no. damaged inside. Damaged. You know? you know? And even like, are you a cum slut? Yeah. And I always, like, I always think too, like what's in it for a girl to have a one night stand? It's because you're like, you're just going to jizz in me and then that's it. And then right. bye. And it's not even, I don't know you well enough. So we probably can't have a great sesh. Probably not. I mean, what I think what it does is that it fulfills that. Usually, that guy in most situations, that guy's going to be really nice to you. For He's that, going to express time, desire and yeah. Stuff. yeah. So you get that feeling of like I'm so desired by this person. Yeah. You know, it's probably not going to be the greatest because like they don't know you that well. They're not going to be able to. You don't know me. Yeah. Shit. I don't know, but I mean. You don't know me. Yeah, it's it's not going to be awesome. That's what it's going to be like. Oh my gosh. It's going to be that on your face, you know? No fucking thanks. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's true. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know.
but I could have done it for one year and then nobody would know because it would be in the military and then I'd just come back to the mainland to but back to the homeland be like being the conversation that we're having now do you think that would make you feel better would it would you feel good about it you think dude or shame about it honestly like okay can I tell you something what let's let's just talk real talk yeah if I could take ST STIs mm -hmm. out of the equation yeah like really yeah pregnancy and no STI yeah I got nothing to lose you do you don't have anything to lose but it's it's the uh, it's like the other side of the conversation we we're just having. I know. If you're giving yourself to somebody all the time, is it really that fulfilling? Or are you just a, you're just a piece of trash that should be thrown away? You know, like no one should love you. But that's why you do it on the boat, and then you come back, and nobody knows. No, but it's knows. still, but it's still, it's still the reality of who you are. You'll feel it inside. Of course you are, and then yeah. people will just see it, and you're like, look at this fucking trash bag. Trash, man. yeah, trash wreck. Yeah. I mean, I would have figured it out, and then I would have just spit in your face and thrown you on the street. <laughs> Throw me off the ship? Yeah, I've been like this fucking whore. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I also think, like, they're like, we found, we did it behind the radar machine. See, she made it clear that she wasn't a boat hoe. She, yeah. She hooked up with... Just a few guys. She said her husband. Yeah. Yeah, but also I'm thinking, like, do I really want to hook up on a radar machine with somebody? Like, I need a bed. I think you know what the reality of this is? At least a bus, you the know? The reality <laughs> is... The bag that of the bus. Mm. Reality is that it's um, yeah. it's better in fantasy. As as most things are. Yeah, it's just a fantasy. The fantasy. All like, right, Tom, you talked me out of it. I won't take a gap year with the Navy. No, no, no. You should really do it if you want to. But <laughs> you should do it now. But I think that the I think that even guys <laughs> guys who have the same fantasy, like I wish I could yeah. go to this beach resort and fuck every girl on the beach. Most of them, it's a they. They'd actually just want one. Just one. You just yeah. need to fuck one. Yeah. Can you look up what age? What's the age limit signing up for the Navy? It's probably thirty-four. Yeah, I'm kind of past it. Yeah. It's too bad. I'd be a really good seaman. Oh dang, seventeen to thirty-nine. Just missed it. No, thirty-nine. Yeah. Just missed it. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys there with hard dicks between seventeen <laughs> and thirty-nine. Especially those first year guys. Those well, guys don't that they? couldn't well, get into what? college. Can I tell you what the good part Your is? Your favorite though? type of guy that can't My, read well. <laughs> and they don't they put criminals into the Navy? Generally, like the judges will be like, you don't have to do time. Well, that's, that's what they told no, me no, okay. when I was on a naval ship. No, there's there are such things as like program diversions where they're like instead yeah. of it. But it's yeah, but it's not like murder or something. No, no, no. It's it but I don't mind those program divergences. Yeah. Divergences. I'll tell you this about the, those guys, the guys that would have gone to jail and have to go <laughs> to the military. No, this is honestly got truth. Yeah. They know how to fuck. Those, those guys, guys yeah. can fuck. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Some yeah. Puerto Rican homies on you there. You always go there. You always go there. Ooh, mommy, did you enjoy that highlight? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Look. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You're not going to miss a moment of denim, okay? Try it out. Be her.